हेलो एवरी वन एडी हेयर एंड वेलकम बैक टू एडी गेमिंग ओके सो गाइज टूडेज वीडियोज कॉन अबी इन इंग्लिश बिकॉज वाई नॉट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई हैव नॉट क्रिएटेड अ न्यू स्टीम अकाउंट एंड दिस वीडियो इज कॉन अबी अ गाइड फॉर एवरी वन हु इज रियली न्यू टू सी एस को एंड इट्स बिगिनर्स गाइड सो स्टेट यून Okay, so CS:GO is launched right now, but uh, it's not in trusted mode. This is the new. And the first thing you've got to do is come here, come to music, and reduce this main mini music to like five to six percent, so it doesn't burst your ears. Even reduce it to zero if you want. Okay. so now go to anywhere and okay so this is a beginners guide right so first things first uh, there is a trusted mode as you can see in the top left corner i can see my afterburner graphic settings and all that but you won't see it in trusted mode so when you click this play button and then you press go it will ask you to restart in trusted so restart in interested mode okay so i'll be back after the restart okay so i've lo logged in with uh, trusted mode so you can play a match like uh, when you press this button and then you press this go button this will jump you in jump you right into a match so right now there are four categories that you can play casual death match war games and danger zone i would suggest uh, like playing death match at war games at the beginning and you can unselect these deselect the deselect uh, what's wrong with my english today deselect these flying scoutsman and demolition and just uh, stick with arms race or go into a death match so this is the really basic thing after that uh, Okay, so launching a game, we'll press this go button. I forgot. If, oh, and these competitive and win men, these will be available at available at rank two. Over here, you can see recruit rank one. When it's rank two, you can play competitive and win men. So as you can see, I need five thousand XP uh, while playing death matches. And when you end a match, that is when you get your XP. And after that, you can like. jump into competitive but i wouldn't suggest jumping into competitive or wingman right now wingman is a 2v2 match and competitive is a 5v5 a uh, casual is like a a copy of a competitive or uh, yeah it's a copy of a competitive match but it has much more players and like uh, you've got to not buy like a, a certain things that are and you'll get it when i'll show you and first then go to settings go to like game and press this and this is a max acceptable ping so i'd suggest uh, depending on your internet connection i'll set it to 100 and this option is known as the developer console you enable it and with uh, the button i'll show you right now it's this button it's right left to the one key on your keyboard you can enable this console thing and it has a lot of commands that you can use exit or quit uh, turns off your game disconnect disconnects you from the server and it's it has a lot of options these are your default keys in the keyboard and mouse settings you can change your mouse sensitivity the zoom sensitivity that's in the scope weapons these are your default keys you can set all of these keys and customize them as you like it okay and then there's this video option if you have like a uh, low spec pc you can reduce this video options to like 1600 i won't do it because it will tell resize my game i also play on 1600 by 900 and i reduce these to like medium 
some of these and I let some remain like that okay most important thing go to this item and the second option switch weapon and pick up turn this to no this is really important for you guys because a lot of new players they don't turn it off and it causes them to die really much after that there is this crosshair option <coughs> this is the default crosshair there are a lot of options like static classic dynamic and these uh, crosshairs you'll need to like set according to your style you can change the length of your crosshair I'll, I usually use the classic static one because it keeps your crosshair like that this is the thickness this is the length this is the gap between them you can <coughs> use the dot you can also set the thickness if you want outline thickness like this reduce it turn it off you can change the colors with this one <coughs> okay and the alpha one it is the transparency of your crosshair so I usually play like Okay, this has turned into a really bad crosshair. Uh, thickness one. This is my usual color. minus 1.6 thickness I think it's one more default I have made a config so I don't use this one very often and then you can use this option to like know or friends and party and everyone and this will show you the crosshairs of other people in the match okay so I think that's that these are the audio settings you can use this <coughs> use this 10 second warning volume it will tell you like when a round is about to end I use this it helps very much and that's that ok now let's jump into a game of a deathmatch or casual deathmatch is really easy so I'll jump into a casual game so I can show you the basic scenarios so over here these are a lot of maps oh yeah one more thing over up here this is an official matchmaking option you can go with practice with bots training course workshop maps uh, you can find these maps um, somewhere on the like team community uh, page option I'll make another video of on that after this one hopefully and this is a community server browser here you can like join community servers uh, that are available there are a lot of options to this and I'll also make a dedicated video on that so now back if you want to practice like you can practice with uh, practice with bots and this will help you to learn the map layouts and all that so I'll just jump into official matchmaking and there are a few things that I'll show you over there also okay so you can also choose your teams in deathmatch you can't do in deathmatch and casual all of these but you can't choose in competitive mode okay so I'll just reduce the volume a bit really high and let me just execute my config okay. you can change your views with uh, like left button and right mouse button and change the view model with spacebar okay so with the B button you can buy uh, these Kevlar and helmets, these are really important and competitive, but uh, they are already given to you. I'd suggest you won't, don't buy any utilities in the beginning because most people don't. Oh shit. 
Why do they push me right now? And yeah, at the top left right here you can see the names and places of the maps. Like right now it's T-Start. Let me buy a few things. Just ridiculous enough. And this over here is the garage. One more thing. What? Oh, it was in the smoke. Let me see if I have any bots. No bots. Yeah, yeah. As you can see, all of these people have dis different crosshairs. So there are a lot of crosshair options also. The thing I want to... Yeah. Okay, if you press Q during the match, you can see this map thingy and you can draw on it so what's next these two guys are afk and i hope they find him so in casual you can spectate everyone but uh, in like competitive matches you can only spectate your teammates he doesn't know man if they're afk or not he cannot see your and you can mute right here that's also that you can mute everyone so that's that and you can call a vote by clicking escape and call a vote kick player or change a map okay so now what yeah looking to play there's one thing that i just forgot let me just try out another round and then yeah so you can buy like two flashbangs um, up to four grenades uh, like in competitive but not in casual and don't and you don't need to like move and shoot you become really really inaccurate when you move and shoot This is really bad right now because these aren't my video settings. So you can press tab and see this. So you know how many enemies are on Hey, this dude stole my kill. the last round yeah if you bring out your knife you can run much faster otherwise you'll be really slow if you have your gun out all the time that's also one thing you need to know walking and crouching crouching makes you the most accurate check all the angles You can see the minimap up on the left. If you press tab, uh, it becomes a little bit big. I'm really bad right now. So 
so you have to plant as a T in casual and competitive and wingman. In death match it's just a regular death match, that's all. I'll just play one more round. So I don't have any graffiti in this account, so that's why it's going empty. That's also one thing. Okay, so I'll be back in the like main menu. The video is becoming really long. अच्छा तो यार ये वही मैच है अभी तक और भाई टॉप रैक इजी 23 किल्स और रिकॉर्डिंग के जैसे थोड़े एफपीस ड्रॉप्स आ रहे थे ना इस तरह से मुश्किल था और हाँ सॉरी आई एम टॉप रैकर दिस मैच इट वाज द सेम मैच एंड वन मोर थिंग जस्ट टू टेल यू दैट अम्म या आई गोट रियली मच रियली एक्सपी एंड जस्ट आई when I type disconnect, it will disconnect me from the server. And one more thing, when you're, if you don't have any friends, if you're someone like me, sadly, so go to the looking to play option and uh, click on looking for competitive, and your name will appear in this option. Okay, and you can also invite people from this option. If you've got some friends, then just go to this option click on add friend and you can copy this code and send to your friend or you can type your friends code over here and if you click ok and, and then you can invite your friends so i think that's enough for today's video the videos become really long and thank you guys so much for watching if you like the video make sure to leave a like subscribe to channel and Share the video with your friends and I'll see you around in the next video. Till then, Allah Hafiz.